हेलो फ्यूचर टॉपर्स वेलकम टू स्ट्रीक इनिशिएटिव ऑफ सिविल स्टडी टू इंश्योर कंसिस्टेंसी इन योर डे टू डे प्रिपरेशन माई नेम इज संतोष गुप्ता एंड आई एम हेयर टूडे विद द मोस्ट प्रोबेबल क्वेश्चन फॉर प्रिलिम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इन साइंस एंड टेक स्पेसिफिकली इन द स्पेस एंड टू एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड टू एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिमांड ऑफ द क्वेश्चन द डिमांड ऑफ द टॉपिक हैज हेल्प मी टू Uh, clear prelims all the times with score 120 plus and up to 145 twice so have patience and watch the whole video and to understand the topics the understand the questions that is going to come into upsc prelim so let's start with the first question it is about the nasa mars exploration 2020 mission you know that nasa is has been focusing on mars for very long so uh, name of the rover is perseverance so that is true that you have to remember anyway space shuttle will land on the jerojo crater so uh, this crater is usually used for the la uh, launch because due to the flat surface it also carries a mars helicopter called jurong to test whether the helicopter can fly in the space atmosphere on the mars we know that where there is very thin space atmosphere on mars and there are sand storms there so but you have to be sure here that whether the name of the mars helicopter is jurong so you know that if something is coming from nasa and that will be named in english not something like jurong so basically jurong is a uh, rover of china on the mars so statement 3 will not be true only statement 1 and 2 will be true here so you know that now china has beaten us in the race to the mars because we have not been able to send our rover on the mars but we did, did beat, beat them in the first race that is sending our satellite to the uh, atmosphere of the mars so here 1 and 2 will be true and nasa this mars exploration mission has one helicopter called ingenuity to check the weather helicopter can fly in the mars sparse atmosphere and if that works then traveling from one point to another point with all the equipment will be very easy because grand ground traveling by the rovers is very difficult in the rugged topo topography of the mars so moving on to the next question it is it is about the china chang e5 mission so it is name uh, it is a manned spacecraft sent to moon to bring back rockets to be uh, rocks to be brought back to the earth so we know that there are many manned mission pr planned to the moon but yet china has not been uh, uh, doing this it is unmanned spacecraft that will try to bring back the Uh, or rocks and materials from the uh, moon surface to the earth to be analyzed till now only united states was able to retrieve lunar sample this is also not true because in the past through its soyuz mission ussr has been able to do that too also so united states and ussr both have been able to retrieve lunar samples from the surface of the moon and analyzed it so chinese has been doing it late by analyzing all the materials being brought from the earth so both of a statement will not be true in this case again a question thought again on the chinese space mission that is tiangong space station it is a second space station being built by china to be ready by 2022 so this is true because we know that international space station which is a joint collaboration of the europe and usa they are being aged and now nasa has also run over all their aircraft uh, space craft to reach to iss now they are being using space x uh, rockets to reach, reach there but it is proposed to be again replaced by the western country so china has come with an alternative and it is uh, they are trying to rebuild uh, it by 2022 and recently shenzhou 12 that is uh, has docked with the tian tianhe module there and delivered first crew to the chinese space station called tiangong so both of the statement 
विल बी ट्रू एंड श्योरली चाइनीज स्पेस स्टेशन इज बीन कमिंग एज ए अल्टरनेटिव इफ यू हैव वॉच द ग्रेविटी इट शोज दैट द लेडी एस्ट्रोनॉट देर सी लैंड ऑन द चाइनीज स्पेस स्टेशन इन द लास्ट एंड सी लैंड टू द अर्थ फ्रॉम यूजिंग दैट ओनली सो इट हैज बीन इन द स्पेस फॉर लॉन्ग बट इट हैज नॉट बीन फुली फंक्शनल सो इन दिस केस बोथ ऑफ द ऑप्शन विल बी ट्रू एंड लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड गेट मोर आइडिया अबाउट द चाइनीज स्पेस स्टेशन इट इज कॉल तियांगोंग दैट इज इट मीन्स हेवेनली प्लेस इन द चाइना एंड देर विल बी अ ट्रांसफर मॉड्यूल दैट इज एंड वन कोर मॉड्यूल दैट इज यहाँ ने थ्रू विच ऑल द स्पेस क्राफ्ट विल बी डॉक्ट एंड इट विल ट्रांसफर द एस्ट्रॉन्ट नॉट्स इन टू द स्पेस स्टेशन एंड चाइना प्लान्स टू लॉन्च एलेवन लॉन्च इट टू डिलीवर ऑल द प्लान मॉड्यूल एंड ऑल्सो विल हैव ऑलमोस्ट थाउजेंड इक्विपमेंट इन द स्पेस टू स्टडी ऑल काइंड ऑफ Uh, all kinds of experiment in the space what is the impact on the astronauts and all kinds of biological uh, biological experiment they can do in the space and it will have the span of the 15 year that is being planned so moving on to the next question consider following statement about about india's interplanetary mission so we know that india is also not left behind in sending uh, in planning at least in may its planned mission to the space first then mars and maybe other planet so mangalyaan 3 will be a manned mission to the mars in 2030 so this is only a conceptual stage and it has not been announced by yet by any government so first will not be true we have mangalyaan 2 proposed that will launch uh, launch a rover on the mars surface isro has a planned 3 missions to space by 23 so it is true that uh, Uh, isro has planned a gaganyaan mission call in which first two missions will be unmanned and third only will be a manned mission on the in the space only it is not going much beyond our moon or mars but only in the outer space just to demonstrate our technology for the manned mission isro is also planning a mission to jupiter tentatively called sukriyan we know that sukriyan is the way uh, sukra is a venus in our एज सोलर सिस्टम इट इज कॉल्ड इन इंडिया सो इट इज नॉट प्लान टू जुपीटर बट टू द वेनस सो वन एंड थ्री विल नॉट बी ट्रू हेयर टू विल बी ओनली ट्रू आवर मैन मिशन ओनली प्लान इज अ गगन यान मिशन एंड फॉर इन द फर्स्ट ट्रू देर विल नो मैन एंड ओनली इन द थर्ड इनिशियली इट वॉज प्लान टू बी लॉन्च बाई दिस इयर इट सेल्फ बट कोविड हैज डिस्टर्बेड दिस प्लान एंड इट हैज नॉट बीन एक्सटेंडेड so only two statement will be true and the last question this mission of nasa will map and explore the moon resources on and under the lunar surface particularly water ice so we know that chandrayaan mission our mission has detected uh, ice uh, ice on the surface of the moon conclusively which was uh, it is no doubt so now nasa and other missions uh, their missions are interested in knowing what are the amount and a uh, extent of the ice on the surface and under the lunar surface that is on the moon so that tomorrow when you send a man to stay there it can harness those ice and for the living we know that moon has no moon has no atmosphere so it is it has no uh, oxygen or water in the atmosphere so you have to go underground if you are able to tap the water ice under the surface or uh, on the surface near the polar area then you can have the oxygen also you can have the fuel also you can have a, you can have the water also and in those water oxygen everything can even grow food so nasa has sent you its viper mission new horizons not it is voyager and hope it is has sent a viper mission new horizon is for the for the outer uh, uh, outer solar uh, system so study the voyager has been sent very early to or explore the outer space and hope mission united uh, arab emirates mission so viper mission has been sent by the nasa to study the man and is uh, study the ice on the lunar surface on below it i right? full name volatile investigation polar exploration rover so it will focus on the polar areas to study the ice present there it is a part of artemis program 
that is new age program which is more focused on the man mission it will map and explore the moon's resources on under and our under the lunar surface that is what uh, that is true and help them sustain the human presence on the moon so that is also true because nasa is eventually looking for a 2030 manned mission to the moon and those man will stay there for a while to study the earth uh, lunar surface and in the future moon is going to be a a uh, between a station between the outer uh, other solar system planets between earth then to moon and then to other planets for a man to visit from there gravity is low also so cost of launching the missions will also be low but the man has to be sustained there first time so that is all for today thank you for watching and uh, if you are facing any difficulty any issue just fill the summon web form and a senior mentor will call you and address your queries and it help you to get back on your preparation and if you have not joined the streak initiative yet go to the description and join it and do not forget to join the telegram channel also to get summary for the 2020 exam in all the subjects yojana kurukshetra budget economic survey and the questions of this video itself thank you for watching subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update from civil daily